Chen Jingwang is the chief economist at Mitsuho Securities Asia and joins us now from Hong Kong. Thank you so much for joining us. How much is it a concern that actually effectively in practice the IMF is now leaderless? Uh, yeah, this is really an unfortunate event. So for, for the IMF staff, I remember the staff is always regard uh, themselves have the highest standard in professional uh, life and also in uh, this, um, the, the integrity side. So that's really, and also IMF is now playing an increasingly important role in this financial crisis, yeah. especially in the recent uh, the euro uh, crisis. So that's really very, very unfortunate. So, Jean, do you think actually this is going to be an image problem for the IMF as a whole? It has the, you know, has the fund taken a reputational hit? Yeah, I think it certainly there will have some uh, some negative uh, impact, uh, but I think uh, maybe uh, that that's the staff uh, will and also the uh, the public will think that maybe it's a just isolated event because uh, inside IMF uh, I, I I remember all the staff are really are working very hard and try to mm -hmm. do uh, their best. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the, probably the only uh, this uh, this kind of uh, news on, uh, on such a negative uh, uh, degree that had been reported on the IMF stuff. Yeah, of course it is a, a very negative news and a negative image. But Shen, in terms of how the IMF mm. actually works, we seem to understand that because of the executive board and because everything is put in mm. place, that they can still function mm. without the managing director. John Lipsky has been named an interim replacement, mm. but everything seems to be business as usual. Do you think that's the case? Mm. Uh, yeah, in normal uh, situation, uh, in normal time, I think that's the case. Definitely, that's the case. Uh, but now, I think uh, because we are in the middle of the very serious uh, the crisis right. in Europe, mm -hmm. this uh, yeah, the southern uh, Euro uh, southern European country, uh, they are not de dealing with this uh, crisis in the in, in, in this situation. So, really, a leadership, a strong leadership uh, of IMF is uh, definitely uh, very important. So, do and, you think uh, and, uh, that Mr. Dominique strauss -Kahn should actually resign and he should resign this week? Uh, I think so. I think so. Definitely. I think uh, I, I can hardly imagine that uh, that uh, he can uh, return to IMF to, to be a leader of IMF and also to, to act as if there is nothing happened. And who would be a good replacement for him? There's still, of course, this agreement that it's a European at the head of the IMF. Um, I know you believe that Mr. Zhu would be a great candidate if China were to propose their own candidate. But because the focus of the sovereign debt crisis is so much in Europe, do we not need a European at the helm of the IMF? Yeah, I think at uh, this, uh, this, uh, this point of time, it's really hard to, to imagine a new European uh, to lead uh, the IMF, especially because the, the, uh, the, the IMF is playing such an important role in the rescue of, uh, of uh, certain Euro area countries. So the next leader do not only need to have a, a professional uh, capability, but also need to be a good politician. And he, can, uh, he or she can talk to European leaders on a, on a lot of different uh, solutions. So that, that's really the case that uh, I think, uh, uh, even though I think the uh, emerging markets uh, economies certainly have certain good candidates, but uh, at this point of time, I, I, I believe that uh, more likely the European uh, countries uh, will, will prevail in proposing the next leaders for the IMF. And uh, there's a lot of names being thrown about. Is there one particular name that, that sticks to you? We hear about uh, the French finance minister, Christine Lagarde. We hear about the ex-prime minister of this country, Gordon Brown. Who would make the better managing director of the IMF? Uh, I, I really, ha I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very difficult, yeah. it is very difficult. And of course, Mr. Mm. Strauss-Kahn is still mm. in power. Um, Shen, mm. just one last word. What is your biggest con concern for the IMF at the moment? If this scandal drags on for too long, it, it really will lose all its credibility? Yeah, I think uh, for, for the IMF, uh, because such, uh, it's not playing such an important role and has uh, such a good reputation, so I think the sooner uh, this event can go away, uh, the better for the IMF. So that's the reason why I think uh, that, yeah, it's, it's really good to have uh, the next leader to, to be elected, uh, to be selected as soon as possible. All right, Sheng Junguang, thank you so much for joining us today.